Hello friends, today we will be dealing with series of tutorials on REST. So first, let, let's understand what does REST mean. REST stands for Representational State Transfer. So let's taking it one by one that is Representational State and Transfer. Let's see what these term means. So whenever a client request, client can be anything that can be you, that can be your personal computer. Whenever a client requests certain things from a server, this happens on certain URL or through certain browser. And whenever you hit certain URL on a browser, then a request and response things happen. Whenever you type a URL, it requests certain data from a server and the server responds with certain data as a response to the client and this data can be anything like whenever you are requesting a, a country name through a request then server responds through that response and responds the name of the country to that response and the, the response which comes doesn't have to be in an improper way like whenever you are requesting certain things it doesn't send the whole database or it doesn't send the format which can't be readable so to get a readable format, it should send certain data in certain format. And these formats which are being used nowadays in the REST API is the XML and JSON. We will get to know what is XML and JSON in our coming tutorials. But, for, but first, let's understand what does representational state transfer work and how these representational st state transfer methods work. There are five methods which works for this architecture that is rest based architecture these methods are get put delete post and options get method is mostly used in the url only to hit the database and get the response from a server and put method is used to create a new thing and delete is to delete and post is used to implement an existing resource or create a resource and options is used to get the supported options on a resource so these five methods which are being used on the rest based architecture and we will see these methods in our coming tutorials and we will also understand what does XML and JSON mean. So this is an introduction tutorial. In our coming tutorial, we will get to know more about the rest. Thank you.